That was Room from Shamir, uh, released in 2018, but you just told me it was written in 2016. Yeah, it was written in 2016 when I was in LA doing session after session after session, trying to do like next big pop follow up. Um, but then when I was like, when I found out I was dropped from my label, I was like, oh, forget this. Um, <laughs> but, Rightly so. But that was um, one of the sessions I kind of like effed off on. Like, you know, we were definitely supposed to be there making pop stuff. But like, you know, I started off doing country music and um, when I first started writing songs, really. And I think I was really struggling during that time as far as like my musical identity because you know I was getting popular and something that didn't feel like myself and I think I to get back to myself I needed to like do some country stuff and I just like went into his studio and he had like this cowboy hat from this company that my friend's sister owns he, um, he being big taste right? he being I'm sorry he being big taste big taste is the producer so sorry <laughs> uh, who produced this record and yeah he's like a big pop producer even at that time he had like Justin Bieber credits and Dua Lipa mm. credits and so he had uh, this cowboy hat and he had this cowboy hat and we instantly put us in the yeehaw mood and <laughs> we did that whole EP we did um room and then the B-side Caballero which is literally cowboy in Spanish and mm. um yeah, I, but he still, I think that's, this, it was a very different project for both of us, really, because he still does, like, you know, a lot of pop stuff, and he did a lot of the Madison Beer stuff that just came out, so, yeah, it's, well, like, that, a nice little thing for that, us. That goes to show his talent as a producer, though, to, He's like, talented. be able to, you know, you come in the studio expecting that we're gonna do this thing, and it goes in a different direction, and he can still bring his own flavor to it and, and make it shine, you know what I mean, like... To have that flexibility, I think, is cool. You know, that means you're a good producer because you're letting the artist lead the way and you're using your craft to help them, you know, develop their idea. He's one of the handsome best producers that I've ever worked with. Yeah. For sure. That's what's up. And, you know, it's funny you said uh, it puts you all in a yeehaw mood, I believe is the quote. Mm -hmm. You have an album, Be the Ye, Here mm -hmm. Comes the Ha. Absolutely. Which is a great name. Yeah. Well, that was that was a joke because you because because. When I came out, that was around the time when I, uh, uh, Mitski had "Be the Cowboy." Right. Yeah. 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 And um, and Mac the Markle had "Here Comes the Cowboy." Yep. Yeah. So and so that was them. me. You know, BDE, BDE, here, here comes, comes the hall. That was me just being an asshole because I know both <laughs> of them. Um, and I just thought that was funny. <laughs> How'd they feel about it? They laugh about it? Yeah, I mean, I haven't talked to Mitski explicitly about it because she does not live on this planet, I don't think. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I was I was literally at Max um, in July because I was in LA all of July. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he definitely knows and you know, he doesn't care about anything. I heard that he used to live out like at the Rockaways. Like, yeah, at the a thousand very years last ago. Stop on the A back in the day. No, and, he's in uh, LA. He's an LA boy now. Of course, of course. Of That's course. the move. It would never be me. Um, he, uh, he did that one. My favorite thing he ever did was this one random ass little tiny demo thing he put on Bandcamp that was just these instrumentals. And it was like not at all related. It was like barbecue music or something. Every time <laughs> I want to hear it, I literally don't even know what it's called. I type in to Google mac demarco barbecue band camp and it comes up somehow i don't know there's the so many weird mac demarco things including yeah. one that we we have a seven inch together of us covering um be happening how am I, how do i get that it's I want it's that. on band camp i think right now go find i think it. it's on band camp and they did they did the seven inch pressing and all for 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 uh record store day Damn. and it sold out that was the day that i pierced my forehead <laughs> Oh, because wow. I was like, oh my god, I have a seven inch of Mac to Markle and pierce my forehead. So I'd never forget it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Amazing. It's like the uh it's like the, the birthday show at Silent Barn, you know? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. A lot, a lot of moments that, that happen. That's awesome. Um look, let's wrap the show up. We got one more song. Uh this one you brought to the table. Mm -hmm. It's called Aquamarine. Mm -hmm. It's by Hand Habits. Mm -hmm. Um anything you want the listener to know? Yeah, I mean, Hannah Hammers is amazing. They're this amazing singer-songwriter based in LA. I first met them. Meg is the person behind it. I first met them because they used to play guitar with Kevin Morby. 
Love Kevin Morby. Who doesn't? (laughs) And uh, it was also at this time where I was in LA. This was 2016. I think the first time I saw Kevin Morby live. And the only reason why I knew Kevin Morby is because I'm a Vivian girl stan. (laughs) I literally have Vivian girls tattooed on me. Like, and so I knew Kevin Morby from the babies. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, okay. Like, I'll go see Kevin Morby. That was my first time seeing him live. And um, Meg Shreds. And yeah, a couple years later, they started in Hand Habits. And all their music is great, but this specific song, I'm just like obsessed with. And I think it was produced by um, Sasami. Okay. So yeah. Now, you know, that just reminded me is I maybe have seen them Mm -hmm. because when they, um, who Woods this always does Mm -hmm. that thing in Big Sur, Mm -hmm. and then they started doing it out here, Mm -hmm. and they did one in Accord, New York, upstate. Mm hmm. Um, I went to that, and I have a feeling that they were there. Probably, so that I makes probably sense. Probably saw them. That yeah. makes sense. That's the um, same crew. Yeah, man, love Woods. Is, that that is a great thing, and that I mean, whatever they they do fun stuff. Everything sounds so good. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, here's Aquamarine from Hand Habits. 